Hi there, I'm about to do some maintenance on the, my batteries for my trailer. Uh, they're flooded, so uh, usually once a year I take them out and just make sure the uh, fluids are topped up. Um, I've got a, a four battery system in there. I made a little uh, diagram for myself to remember how these suckers were wired together. So they're uh, four six volt batteries. Wired together to bring them up to 12 volts and then uh, in series and then connected in parallel so that uh, they become uh, they double the amp hours. So it gives me a lot of capacity when I'm uh, off grid, which I where I prefer to go camping. So I'm going to pull these guys out and just uh, walk through um, how you're supposed to top up the fluid. I'm going to bring them up to just above the plates if they're below them, and then make sure the batteries are fully charged, and then take it up just about an eighth of an inch below the. Uh, top uh, filter screen uh, where you can see the fluid level so I'll pull these disconnect all these batteries and pull them out um, I'm gonna number them so I put them back in the same way that they're in this diagram here so I'm just gonna mark them with a the marker so I can connect them all back the same way um, batteries tend to like to stay together once you put them together so I don't think it really matters if I were to put them in a different order but uh, I'm just gonna keep them consistent Hey, I've got the batteries out. As it turns out, I had already numbered them from last time, so I already had uh, one, two, three, four labeled on them, so I'll put them back in the same way that they were in there before. Um, these flooded batteries, you can just pop off the little vent caps, and uh, that's going to be hard to see in there. Give me a second. Let me just shine a light down in there. You can see the fluid, so the good news is it's um, covering the... Uh, plate still so definitely want that and it's actually it looks pretty decent I may top it up um, a sixteenth of an inch but it's uh, you wanted about an eighth of an inch below the uh, little lip there just below uh, that and uh, they should be good to go I'm just using some uh, good old-fashioned uh, distilled water uh, that's all you need top those back up uh, if that was lower, if for some reason those plates were not covered, uh, you run the risk of obviously doing some damage to your batteries. But you just want to bring the fluid up above the plates, then fully charge the batteries, and then put them all back again. So because I'm already above those um, plates right now, I'm just going to top up the batteries, fully charge them while they're out here, um, just make sure everything's good to go, and then I'll put them all back in. I'm going to clean up uh, the ends I've had. Obviously, a little bit of moisture getting around these guys. Uh, on my new setup, I didn't wasn't able to have uh, covered battery boxes. I just didn't have enough room, so I built a cover for them. But it, it's not uh, element proof, and I camp a lot in uh, some strange places, so I end up getting a lot of elements uh, on and around my trailer. So I'll have to watch a little closer. I think now that uh, this is my battery setup, just to make sure they stay clean and uh, corrosion free. Now to actually fill these guys, all you need is a little funnel. Uh, I like using the rubber one, I don't have to worry about uh, getting battery acid on it, uh, but not that I'll stick it in there, but um, I like to put a little bit of fluid just in a cup and add it a tiny bit at a time rather than use the big jug, because I uh, don't want to overfill these things obviously, that would be a horrific mess. Um, but uh, So just add a little bit at a time, slowly bring them up and bring them all to the same level, and then you're good to go. So I've gone through and filled them all up. Hopefully you can see now the water level is just touching the bottom. That uh, little lip there is a max fill line. So I have them all just touching that. So they're all the same level. None of the plates were exposed. Uh, so should be good to go. If your plates are exposed, there's not too much you can do about it. Um, you can essentially fill the water up just, just above the plates, um, just so it's clearing them. Bring the batteries up to a full charge and then fill them the rest of the way up. Um, I'm basing that just on what was on the, the Trojan website. These are Trojan 6 volts, uh, 105 is the model, I believe. 225 amp hours each. So I've got 450 amp hours in my battery bank, which is plenty to run all my toys and things out on the road. All right, thanks. Bye. So, the other thing I'm going to do is actually put an inline fuse. Uh, this is an NL uh, 250 amp fuse. 
Uh, it's probably good for about 20-25 AC amps uh, pulling off of it. So I'm going to put this between uh, my batteries and my inverter, uh, just in case, uh, give my inverter a little extra protection in case it ever overloads. Pretty straightforward, just two screw-in clamps on each side. Uh, great little addition, got it off uh, eBay. It wasn't a ton of money either, I think it was like 12 or 15 bucks. Definitely worth it. 